Hello everyone, uh, Ryan here and I am here today reviewing the new Arca album which is self-titled. Now Arca is a music producer who has been around for quite a few years now. He's dropped a couple of albums, they've been very well received. I've also liked them quite a bit, I think Zen is his best album which was his first album. And he's become known for his weird and strange intricacies in his music. He has a very unique style to the way he produces songs. I don't think there's anyone else out there that's like him that I can think of. And yeah, he's also um, made some um, beats for Bjork and FK Twigs. He's handled a lot of their production on their on their latest releases and um, they've always come out incredibly well. One thing we haven't heard from Arca before though is his vocals and on this new album this is where we are introduced to Arca's very bizarre and um, kind of mysterious sounding voice which crops up on quite a lot of these songs and honestly it adds quite a, haunt a haunting tone and the creepiness has only intensified. We have the track Reverie, which um, sees Arca wailing over this in industrial percussive beat. And by the end of the track, you know, this song reaches epic proportions like no other Arca track I've ever heard before. But when he's not intensifying his vocals, Arca is singing so beautifully over these kind of experimental instrumentals like on the opening track PL which is is an is a kind of creepy sounding song like it's it's a perfect song that you would use in like a horror film I think but the the way he sings is just absolutely elegant and just angelic it's such a, a strange combination but I think Ark has managed to find the co like the common ground between both of those things. Also, there's a track Disafio, Disafio, which is Arca's most like catchiest song in a way. Like I I find that refrain getting stuck in my head, and I love the beat on this song. It's really um, one of the best tracks I think I've heard all year. Actually, I really love this track. Of course there are still amazing tracks that don't include Arca's vocals like the track Saunter. This song has sharp sounds to it, it's really quite aggressive but um, also it has this kind of operatic tone as well. There are some kind of backing vocals but they're not really um, the main part of the song, it's kind of like the uh, like an added instrument amongst the mix. And there is one moment on the album where Arca uses a completely new sound that he wouldn't have used on any of our albums prior to this. And it's the only one track here that he does it, and it's the track Whip, where he literally uses a whip sound all the way through. It sounds really cool. It's just a shame that the track isn't longer. It's only just over a minute long. And I would definitely like to hear him do more of this in the future using newer... Um, ob objects to make sounds with his um, with his albums. I think one problem I've always had with Arca albums is that on first listen they wow me and blow me away and I'm always wondering how he's made these sounds but you know a few listens later I'm kind of um, I'm kind of used to what he's doing and I'm, I'm I'm not really as wowed by everything because I kind of feel like I've heard it all before even though this album does add a new dynamic with the vocals, again, just by the end, I'm a bit left wondering. You know, there's a lot done here that he, he, um, that's that's interesting, should I say? But you know, I just feel like there could be more to it as well. Especially when there are tracks on this album like Karaje, I believe you would say it, um, which is just really forgettable. And, you know, there's not really anything to it. And then the last three tracks, right after Disafio, um, you know, they're nothing special either. It kind of ends on an underwhelming note. And I just kind of wish that 
we could have had a bit more excitement right as the album closes, but unfortunately we don't. This is a very good album. Once again, Arca has found new ways to uh, creep the shit out of me. You know, he does it like no other musician out there can. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to see where he goes next. Hopefully he uses more of those unique sounds like on the whip track. And I'm sure he'll scare the shit out of me in the future. And I'm looking forward to that. So, yeah, if you like this review, make sure you sub subscribe. And I will be talking to you again soon. Have a good day.